My next topic is my loneliness. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But for real, I do miss my ex. For real, for real, for real. Um, The main reason that I miss him is because he was really good company. He, I mean, we would be up all freaking night conversating. <laughs> no sexual activity whatsoever. Just conversation so he definitely won my mind i have yet to find somebody to feel that big ass shoe that's a huge shoe it's like i find people that i can conversate with but it is really the conversations are interesting however it's never it's not something it's something that I want to talk about but it, it's usually like real type of stuff it's not stuff that you can escape on damn it excuse me for instance I have a friend that I could talk to him till six seven eight in the morning on the telephone but it's always going to be about him trying to school me on certain things and we conversing back and forth as far as what we know, what we don't know, this and that and topics about, let's see, we talked about, we were talking about the fashion industry and the stuff that's going on in St. Louis and he was talking about how this little the award show that they had here was going to be some crap and this and this and that. And, oh, that's so crazy. And I'm not going because of yada, yada, yada. And at the same token, he is the first person to say, oh, it's so many haters in St. Louis and this and this and that. And nobody's ever going to progress anywhere. Okay. You contradict yourself in the same line saying something like that. Because you're talking about these events and how St. Louis don't put on these events and how when they put these events on, oh, they're wrong. That's the point of being unique. You see what I'm saying? The point of being unique is doing something with your own twist. Okay, I understand that you feel like it was going to be country tacky and ghetto. That's fine and dandy, but... At the same time, you saying St. Louis isn't doing anything like anything like that, and we have people here that are doing stuff like that. But anyway, I'm getting off the topic. I was talking about the conversations that I had with my ex. The conversations that we had were things that we had so much in common on, like music. We both were we both were in tune with each other as far as music we were in tune with each other as far as what we were thinking we were in tune with each other on so many levels like if he wanted to show me something or, or bring something to my attention it's like <laughs> he would just say it he wouldn't you know, it was like with the music stuff. He really liked Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was one of his favorite artists. And musically, this dude is like so far ahead of everybody. My ex is like, he should be an artist right now. It's like, he really should be living out his dream because he is a great lyricist. He is a good writer. He, he know how to write punchlines and get people into the songs. And those were the types of things that I'm interested in. Yes, I can have an intellectual conversation. But if it's going to be a conversation where you trying to tell me your beliefs and trying to make me believe what you believe, I'm just going to be turned off to that. And that's the difference between the conversations with that friend and my ex. Nobody is going to 
ever feel that shoe, I feel like. I feel like nobody's going to be able to talk to me and get my attention in that way. It's like when he when he would compliment me, it was real. It was serious. It wasn't just like, oh, you beautiful. Oh, you gorgeous. He let me know like subliminally that I, I, I subconsciously that I was like really really attractive to him he didn't just say it you know what I'm saying it was more of a he really really felt that way about me he wasn't just saying it because he wanted to say it or he thought it was going to bring me closer to him no he really meant it what he said about stuff that he said about me and like our conversations, we could go on and on and on and on and on for hours. But then <laughs> there were the conversations that we would get a little heated. Not as far as music, though. Those were like <laughs> stupid conversations. <laughs> but we still, we still had a a huge connection Com as far as communication we had the best connection is like if I said something to him that I did not like he understood why I didn't like it and he could see my point and then he would come back with his point and I could see his point as to why he did something or said something but I have not been able to communicate with anybody like that. Anybody. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's just a thing about me. Let's see. I'm forgetting what the what I was talking about. <laughs> Forgot what the blip I was talking about <laughs> that fast. But, um, yeah. Conversation wise, I don't I don't think anybody's there with me. That's one one of the main reasons why I miss him and not only that, but he used to hunch me at night and I thought <laughs> I thought that was so cute. But um it was weird as hell, but hey, whatever floats his boat he would do that while I was asleep and that was just so weird and another thing that he would do is he would hold me while I was asleep and cute stuff like that that you would I'm brushing my damn hair that you would not think a person like himself would be doing with a female seriously like this dude was like <laughs> super thug but behind closed doors, he was just like a little teddy bear or something. He was like, it's, it was crazy because the stuff that I heard about him from other people, that's not what I knew of him. Like when I moved over where I'm at now, this guy was like, I heard you dated T. And I was like, yeah, he was like. Man, are you for real? I was like, yeah. He, it was crazy. He was like, you dated T. I was like, yeah. But basically, his thing was, dude is crazy as hell. So he don't even know how he had a damn girlfriend. <laughs> but behind closed door, I mean, <laughs> for real, dude would like literally go out and do something crazy and just come back. And lay down with this funny ass look on his face. But the coolest thing about it was he knew he could talk to me about it. You know, he'll lay down for a few minutes. But he knew he could talk to me about whatever happened. <laughs> and I thought that was so cool. And it's like, I, can't, I don't know anybody like that right now. But anyway, I'm going to continue this video. So, deuces for right now. <laughs>